Have you thought about getting your PhD in counselor education? One of the benefits of getting your PhD in counselor education is that you can get a lot of your uh, 3,000 hours of supervised experience. Um, now, when you go through a counseling program at the master's level, and hopefully after you graduate, or sometimes before you graduate, you're able to take your NCE exam, your National Counselor Examination, um, and if you pass, then you can begin getting your 3,000 supervised hours. Now, some people find it hard getting a job to where they can actually get their 3,000 supervised hours. Um, one alternative to getting a job right away is to go on and get your PhD in counselor education and supervision. A counselor education and supervision PhD program allows you uh, a few opportunities. It allows you to, one, continue your education at a higher level than the master's degree. Two, it allows you to get those out, some of those hours because you're getting in, in PhD programs in counselor education and supervision, you still have to do practicum and you still have internship uh, requirements in the actual program. So you're getting some of those hours, some of those 3000 hours, and you're getting them for free because sometimes when you get out of uh, your master's program and you pass your NCE, then you have to get a, a, a supervisor who will uh, supervise your 3000 hours. And oftentimes they make you pay. Uh, because it takes away from them actually meeting with their clientele and getting paid for that. So sometimes they require that whoever they're supervising pay a fee every month for supervision. In a PhD program, you don't have to do that. It's required that you have a practicum. It's a, it requires that you have um, a, an internship and an advanced internship. Some programs require that you have three internships, uh, depending on where you are going. Um, so that is definitely a benefit of getting your PhD in counselor education and supervision. Also, if you like to research, that is a big thing. Uh, it's a PhD, so you're obviously going to be doing research. Um, one other thing is that you get to teach at the college or university, university, university level. So you'll probably be doing some student teaching You'll probably you may have opportunities for uh, teaching assistantships to where you're uh, uh, teaching uh, undergrad and master's level students. Um, also, you get to super do some supervision yourself within the program. So if you someday want to supervise uh, people who are going through a master's program or even a Ph.D., um, you actually get an opportunity to be the supervisor yourself. So um, those are some benefits of getting that PhD in counselor education and supervision. Now, each program is different. Each program is going to require that you get a certain amount of hours. In a, in a, um, in a K-CREP accredited program, I think they're requiring that you get 100 hours of, and this is at the master's level, 100 hours of pr uh, practicum experience and seven, uh, 600, I'm sorry, 600 hours of internship. Now that uh, consists of in the practicum uh, at the master's level, they want you to have 40 direct client hours and 60 indirect client hours. Uh, for internship, they want you to have 240 direct client hours and 360 indirect client hours. So uh, once you graduate with your master's degree and you take your NCE exam, then that's when you begin take uh, you can begin accumulating your 3,000 hours uh, towards your full uh, LPC license. So um, again, doing a counselor education and supervision PhD will allow you to get a lot of those hours for free, um, and it, it's probably you're probably going to get hundreds of hours. So um, I would recommend at this point, go ahead and get, go ahead and apply for your PhD. Um, get your PhD. Um, it typically takes about uh, three to four years. Um, and, and that's with uh, coursework, dissertation, and practicum and internship uh, hours.
So you're getting a lot within that three and four years. And again, you can then come out, you can uh, uh, be a professor at the community college or university level. You're able to uh, to then be uh, to to get grants and things for programs. If that's something that you're interested in, you can uh, learn how to grant write in those programs. They teach you how to do that and teach you how to start programs and get funding and all of that stuff. And again, you get teaching internships, you get research internships. Of, if that's something that you're inter interested in, sometimes programs require that you teach courses. So, you know, uh, those are just some benefits of get, getting a PhD in counselor education and supervision. Um, and also, you're going to want to find a KCREP accredited PhD program. I've heard that if you don't get a KCREP accredited uh, PhD program, then you may have uh, uh, some difficulties finding an actual position uh, being able to teach at universities. They like to see that it's KCREP accredited. Um, now, I think that if it is not KCREP accredited, then you can find some counseling uh, programs that you know that you can teach in, but they cannot be KCREP accredited. So. Um, and, and just to just to mention, KCREP accreditation is the it's the counseling uh, body that accredited that accredits counseling programs. And the acronym I don't exactly I forgot exactly what it means, but they accredit counseling programs that meet a certain standard. So um, you know, in in a lot of jobs, also uh, especially governmental jobs, like to see that you have KCREP accreditation. Uh, in your master's or PhD program. Also, uh, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that it is also important to get into a master's level KCREP accredited program uh, because a lot, a lot of times when you're applying to your PhD, that's they, they like to see that, uh, that your program at the master's level was KCREP accredited. I hope this gave you guys a little bit of information on counselor education and supervision PhD programs. Um, and please let me know if you have any questions.